I'm Jim Riley. Welcome to Meet the Chef. Today we're at the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant on Route 23 in Wyndham. Love the food here, love the people. Drew and I are going to have a great visit and show you everything they have to offer. You know, I knew someday I'd really get up in the world. You can see I made it today. Hey, uh, can somebody help me get down from here? Okay, uh, we're sitting here now with Natasha and Drew Shuster. Yeah. I told, you got it right. I, one of the few people. I told our producer I could remember that, but I, I'll probably butcher it the rest of the day. Thanks so much for inviting us here. Again, we're at the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant. Correct. Route 23 in Wyndham. That's correct. Mm -hmm. We're really pleased to be here with you. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, really our pleasure. It. We're glad now, to have you. I know it's an old story, but we're going to revisit it one more time. You were certainly impacted by the flood in 2011. And we talked about your beautiful house, and, and we're going to get some shots of that later, so we talk about it. Prior to the flood, for whatever reason, you decided to move the house up on the hill. Tell us about that, Drew. Well, in 2000, well, actually in 2006, we realized we needed more parking. The business was doing really well, and right. we had to expand our parking. And our house sat right in the parking lot over here, although yep. it wasn't a parking lot. Right. And we were trying to figure out what to do. And my wife came up with the idea that I was walking on the property and just looking around the property and I said, I got it. We just need to pick up our house and move it. And that'll be our parking lot then. And uh, we discussed it and Drew said, well, you better find somebody to pick up the house and move it. <laughs> That's right. So I, I went, can't do it. Yeah, I can't So do I it. went online and uh, found somebody that did that. and. Uh, well, not just anybody. It was a company that's been doing it for 125 years. It's a company, Larman Home Movers. You really have to have yeah. somebody uh, like yeah. that. Because we're, we're going to show us shots of the house, of course. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. Well, we bought... But it's huge. I mean, it's, you know, this was no little small project to do. No, it was a 2,000 square foot house when we started. Um, I think it ended up at around 2,900 square feet. It had nothing to do with the move, just right. because we lifted it up and added another floor right. to it. But... The, the other thing I like was you put it up on the hill. Which is very picturesque. It's well, just that gorgeous. was the that was the place for it, yeah. you know, and it gave us privacy and it opened up our property for us to develop it for people to enjoy. Right, and, and that's so, the other thing I've noticed. You've got a lot of that set up out here. We took a little uh, photo of me and one of your little cutouts. There's another one on the other side. You got this color with chalk place for yep, the kids. for kids, and we have a playground for kids and a frog catching pond. For you know, oh. catch and release. Yeah, that's and, a nice uh, thing Yeah, for the so kids. a lot of different things. And this year we're going to have uh, croquet, uh, croquet and, and horseshoes oh, I like that and idea. some games and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's kind yeah. of fun. Joe, I, I like the whole livestock kind of thing. You lifestyle got over here. or lifestock? Life, well, let's say <laughs> lifestyle with livestock. <laughs> and you got that all set up in here. It's like the... The, you well, know, it's a local lo farm. It's a yeah. looking zoo. Right. Yeah. We've got uh, miniature horses. We have goats. We have uh, fainting uh, goats. We have sheep, uh, chickens, uh, pigs, cats, which you can hear in the background cats. right oh, now. Oh, they're <laughs> busy. The cats are busy. I, I didn't know if they were coming in after us, but they're, they're just having a little and then sport. I've got a couple of ducks who like to walk around all over the place, too. Well, that's, we, adopt, nice. we adopt animals that don't have a home. So oh, we nice, do a nice. rescue. We just recently rescued a sheep. We rescued these two ducks, yeah. um, and we have cats still playing over there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I like that. Well, I didn't know if you were being critical of our discussion. Whether no, they'll just, wait till the end for yeah. that. Oh, All right, they'll yeah. let you know afterwards. Yeah. But I like that idea of rescue as well. But mm -hmm. the miniature horse is kind of an exciting thing. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. That's kind of well, I, we had um, we've gotten two local horses uh, from. Um, people that uh, had a zoo uh, and uh, a little, uh, what would you call it, um, a circus. A circus. Yeah. Yeah. And we had gotten these two horses from them a number of years ago. It was a male and a female. And one day my wife saying, boy, the female uh, looks pregnant. And everybody was telling us no. She no. The vet pregnant. told no. us no. Yeah. Everyone everybody told everybody us said no. no yeah. Yeah. So what happened? So I knew she was pregnant, so I just kept watching her and watching yeah. her, and then she gave birth, and it was one of the most amazing. I helped her give birth, and so oh, now we have wonderful. Lily the filly, who is not a Lily. filly because that was nine years ago. Yeah. Um, but now the interesting thing is, is we have three children, uh -huh. and of course the day that we got married. So my wife said to me after the uh, foal was born, she said, you know, Drew, I hate to tell you this, but this is the one of the most exciting days of my life. I'll have to put it down at number four after the birth of our three children. I'm thinking to myself, 
<laughs> so that's it. I'm already number five. <laughs> oh, yeah, you moved. No, you knew that was coming. You knew no, that was going to happen. But it's just, I, I think what I like most about everything that you have here is it's a place where you want to be here. You want to come here. People love people love coming, and they stay for a few hours, and that's yeah. wonderful. Uh, you sat on our chair. Yeah. You know, we have a, a, you know, people love. They'll just pull over the car just to take a picture in the chair, and then they see everything else, and they want to stop, you know, stop. And, you know, when we sell Christmas trees, we sell um, perennials and annuals. So each season, there's something. See, that's Pumpkins, a part of the country store, that, like, along yeah. with a restaurant. Yeah, go ahead. Well, we, we've always wanted it to be a destination, something that somebody can come up here and spend the day hanging out enjoying the property you know we've never charged for food to feed the animals things like that you know they can pick some grass or leaves and and feed the animals take advantage of everything that we have on the property yeah and if they spend a little money that's great yeah Uh, but if they don't that's not the end of the world either no really enjoy the interesting thing what i like about that is that people spend because they're happy that's right i mean that you know when you welcome and say we want you here we want you to enjoy this place Next thing you know, they're doing because they're enjoying everything. I, I just like the whole notion of the spirit of generosity. I think the world can always use a little bit of that. That's kind of a nice well, thing. Well, what, what, what we say is when people come into our store, they're not coming in to buy pancakes or coming in to buy a coffee or a toy. They're coming in for the experience. And so we don't just sell those pancakes. We sell that experience. Right. You know, we sell the smell of Thanksgiving when the pies are baking yeah. or the smell of apple cider donuts. Yeah. And, you know, kids. By the way, and- I just got excited with apple cider donuts. <laughs> <laughs> we, we talked before we went on the air that there's some donuts lurking in our future. We kind of like that idea. But that is true, isn't it's it? It's very important in our old-fashioned candy. You know, that's an important thing. You know, you make people that like yourself. Well? No, we don't make that. But people like yourself come in. Yeah. And they find some, you find something that maybe you had when you were five years old. Yeah. And, you brings know, that brings memories. memories and, and so. Yeah. But I think it's so often true with families is they don't want to just go out for a bite. You know, you, you got the kids with you. You want to have a great day out. And this is the kind of environment where you can really do that. Without a doubt. Yeah. You know, as I said before, you could spend the whole day here, and that's great. Yeah. But you talked about things that we make. Um, <clears throat> our children, we have three. A 16-year-old Sydney who's going off to college next year. 15-year-old. She looks like she's going to Middlebury. Oh, that's a great uh, school. Up in Vermont. Up Middlebury, in Vermont. Vermont. Yeah. 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 Uh, 15-year-old Gus and 10-year-old Victoria, and all three of them are very involved in our business. Uh, Sydney makes the fudge. As a matter of fact, it was her idea she to make She started the, fudge. the business when she was 11. Yeah. Now, when I leave, do you have any fudge? No, handy? we do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, yeah. you know, if we have a nice visit, <laughs> you enjoy our experience, maybe there's a little fudge. Sure, That's oh, all I'm we, thinking. We might little be able to work it out. Oh, we might you know, be able to work future, it out. Right? If the cats <laughs> give the okay and say that you did a good job, we can certainly work the, it out. The cats will make judgment. Yeah. All right. So the fudge, who else? Now, no, Gus is yeah. 15 when he was seven years old, started making donuts. He told us, actually, when he was four years old, he told us this town needs donuts. My friend needs donuts. We need to sell donuts in our store. He was very adamant about it. He actually knew that that's something they should do. Yeah, Absolutely. So it's kind of funny because when he was seven, we said, Gus, we've decided we're going to get into the donut business. And we've been looking on eBay for, I don't know, donut machines. Yeah. Could not find one. We bid on a hundred different machines and we didn't get one. one. And they're very expensive. They're five, six thousand dollars. Yeah. Who the heck So I said, Gus, we're going to break down and we're going to buy a new donut machine. And I know you want to be a partner in this business because it was your yeah. idea. So yeah. what are we going to do? And he said, well, I've got $800 in the bank, and I'll put $800 up for it. And I was like, well, you know, I don't really want to do that. How about you give me $600, and we'll make you a partner? And he says, I've got a better idea. I'll give you $500, and I'll work every week making donuts and selling them. And he, and he does do a fair amount. I mean, now as he's older, yeah, yeah, sports other things and in, high school that. impact on that. But he's done very well with his donut business. You know what I like about that is that, and we all feel this about children. I love kids. I told you I grew up in a big family myself is that when they see something and they get focused and they have a passion as a parent, nothing feels better than that because, you know, the one thing in the world will carry them through. If they have a passion, if they have something that they really want to do, it's a win-win. It's great for the parents. It's certainly good for them, don't you think? I yeah, agree. Yeah, Definitely. I really do. Definitely. Oh, now, our little one, we have a 10-year-old, yeah. and she wants to get into the ice cream business. Now, we have another... 
uh, something else that we're doing, um, which is going to uh, help her get into the ice cream business. And did you want to discuss that other option? I think that it sure. would be good. Yeah, yeah it's kind of damn it. Well, we're, um, we're, we're buying another business in Tannersville. It, uh, it's called the Tannersville General Store right now. But okay. In, uh, we're looking to close on it hopefully this week, and we're mm -hmm. going to be putting a uh, Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant in Tannersville. Oh, uh, and wonderful. It, it, right now it has an ice cream parlor, if you will. Right. An old-fashioned old ice, yeah. yeah. ice cream soda. Which is wonderful. And Isn't that so wonderful? This, she's very excited because she's wanted to be in the ice cream business. Yeah. So this has, you know, been, been her passion, if you will. So yeah. the oldest is fudge. Then Gus is uh, donuts, and now Victoria is. I, I just be think ice it's cream, wonderful. So. But by creating the business, you give them an opportunity to see something that they like and they want to get involved in. By the way, as you talk about this project over in Tannersville, one of our cameramen, Shane, he, he perked right up. He liked the mm -hmm. idea of you expanding <laughs> over to Tannersville. He liked that idea an awful lot. So I, I'm awfully excited to have your kids be so interested in it mm -hmm. and find something in it that they love, and then they can be part of this whole wonderful project to something that's got to be through. Well, the you. whole thing started, we started our business in 1994. Right. And it started because I, I'm a civil engineer and I worked road construction. Right. Very difficult to travel far away right. and work and have a family. So yeah. we wanted to have a family. Yeah. So uh, that's why we started this business. And we started down in town in Wyndham right. and then bought this business on Halloween Day, 1995. Uh -huh. And opened the restaurant then. Uh, it took me three years to convince Drew to open the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes we got to be pushed just a little bit. Just uh, a little bit. Yeah, but, you know, women are a little prone to hyperbole, so it wasn't quite three <laughs> years. But, <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's, it's like anything bit. else, when you're going to make a kind of commitment like that, it's a huge it's commitment. Serious. It's very it's not just, hesitant just yeah. to not make monetarily, that but time-wise yeah. also. You yeah, know, you are we really it. going to be able right. to keep the passion up, the commitment Absolutely. to take care and of this? So we, uh, our business opened August 2014, August right. 3rd, 2014, the restaurant opened. Right. 2000. 2000. 2014. 2000, <laughs> yes. Okay. And, uh, I wasn't even paying this. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I zoned right out. Whatever she said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just yeah, nodding. 2000, it. August, August um, of opened, 2000. That's when we opened the yeah. restaurant. Opened yeah. the yeah. restaurant. So we've been in business since 1994 with the store, opened the restaurant in 2000. Right. And uh, the business has been very good to us. It's, well, you've been very well, good for it's, it's a funny well. story because we were telling you about buying this other business in, in Tannersville. And one of the reasons we are is because my son has shown a, a, a strong interest in, in taking over the business someday. Right. 15 years old, who knows? Right. But what he told us was the <laughs> only way I'm going to take over your business is if we have multiple locations and you make more money. Right. So... That's what he wants for the future. So this right. is something. He has vision. Yes, yeah, he, he has, has vision. vision. So, yeah. so it's good. Wonderful. Very good. Okay, let's get serious now. We're going to go inside. Mm -hmm. We're going to start seeing some food. That's really, I'm trying to be as charming as I can with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm really looking at the food. So They're but, hungry. Is that what you're trying to tell yeah, us? You guys are all hungry, they're, they're right? They're all waiting very for donuts. Very hungry. We're, we're going to be right back after a few uh, messages, and we'll go inside and get some food. We're at it again here at Crossroads Ford. I see you went with the... Ford Escape? Yes, I took it for a test ride and I love it. It has the navigation and the sync features which I was looking for. The sync features? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to someone in the service department. What kind of cars do you work on? Fords, Subarus, Chevys. So basically anything with four wheels, right? Absolutely. I got a go-kart needs a tune-up. Bring it in, we can do it. I'm Ron Teeter, owner of Crossroads Ford. You gotta give us a try. We hope you're enjoying Meet the Chef. Remember, it's local, it's real people in our community, and it's exclusively on Mid-Hudson Cable Vision's Channel 11. To be a local sponsor of this program or to have your restaurant featured on Meet the Chef, please contact us at 828-2500, extension 8207 for details.
Welcome back, Jim Riley again. We are at the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant. Uh, my producer said we have to do product placements. So, and I'm here with Natasha Schuster. 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 All right. Almost got it right. Uh, I was called. I was called. What are we going to do? Well, today we're going to make a Greek omelet and we're going to make banana pecan French toast. So, and I get to eat those. You get to eat these. So we're going to start. Like we, we do a special potato. Okay. And we're going to start with this potato. It's called a raw fry. Yeah. And as I'm doing this potato for the raw fry, I'm going to need you to crack some eggs. These eggs came from our chickens this oh, morning. Oh, look at the colors. Yeah. These are from Aracana chickens. And there's a duck egg in there. There's a few okay. other. I know uh, you don't experiment, but you'll be fine. Yeah, there's a few okay. different eggs in there. I, so I need you to crack <laughs> Why did you four. laugh? Oh, four, okay. I need you to crack four put eggs here? and put them in there and then okay. whisk them I'll while whisk. I'm shredding the potato. And this potato. Where am I putting the shell? Right in this. Okay. And then you have to whisk them. And, I'll whisk. Yep. And this potato is called a raw fry. And we do this special for our restaurant. It's from Pennsylvania. It's a Pennsylvania Dutch recipe. Oh, good, good. I did make a mess. I told and you. So with our raw fry, we take some shredded potatoes. Yeah. Some sugar. And a little salt and pepper. Very good. And we mix that up. Wonderful. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on the griddle. Okay. While you're mixing our eggs. Yeah. And that's going to go on with some butter on the griddle. Oh, I like that sound of that. And that is going to cook while Very we good. start our omelet. Very good. I'm turning it over to you. I got All right. Catskill Mountain Country store and restaurant. I got to do product place for me. All right, we're gonna watch Natasha work now. Now we're gonna make the omelet. Yeah. Spray the pan with a little spray release. Look at those eggs. I did a great job. You with did those a eggs. great job with those. Very happy with them. But now what we have to do, you can come over here, okay. put this on the griddle, put this right next to the potatoes. This is roasted red peppers. Right. Very good. Some black olives. Ooh, ooh. Now, did I put them with a the pepper or right on the right, right, Right there, that's the fine. Go. Good. Wait a minute. And I'm going to put a little spinach. Oh, good. That's and fresh now spinach. That's fresh spinach. Wonderful. And we're going to take a little bit of butter. Very good. That's a lot of butter, but... I, I like butter. I'm happy with butter. So we're going to cook that. Yeah. And then that's going to go and get ready is for that our feta? omelet. That is feta. That's going to go in there also. This is getting good. Now we're going to start our French toast. Okay. All right, so I'm going to need you to crack some more eggs. Okay. You want a blue one, Ryan? Ryan is uh, eyeing those blue ones. How many so you want? So crack four eggs. Four. Okay. And then you're going to... Where am I putting these? Uh, right here. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. I wonder if I'll ever get any good at this. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some skills you have, some skills you don't have. I'm sure there's no shells here. Oh, no. I can eat the shells if necessary. Well, we, we usually don't put shells in ours. I did. I took one out. Okay. Oh, hold on. Got another. Good thing I'm eating this because I don't think we want to serve it. That what way. with your fingers in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we want to serve. So that we're gonna either. whisk that, and then you're gonna put this half and half in it. Oh, great. Some cinnamon and a touch of vanilla. Oh, this is for the French toast. This is for the French toast. All right, we get that in there. Hey, I'm okay. getting good at this. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla in. Yeah. And then you can put the cinnamon in. I'm going to check our cinnamon. omelet. Cinnamon. Oh, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. Can you mind if I had to make, can you mind if I had to make a living doing this? 
It would be ugly. It would be awful. Thank God Natasha's got a lot of patience. Let's get a little more of that in there. There we go. All right. Very, Very good. good. Get that going. Yeah. Anything else going in here? No, we're good with that. Very good. Now, I'll put this over here. We're going to, you can use that yeah, to. Clean up just a little bit. And we're going to spray this. Okay. This gets dipped in there. Would you like to do that? I could do that, I guess. All right, let me spray it first. And you're going to put it right there, both sides. Dip the whole thing in there. Got it. And just put it on there. Yep. I think uh, Shane, our cameraman, is eyeing up some of this French toast. I'm sure he is. He knows a good thing when he sees it. Oh, look at this. This is fabulous. This is going to be great. There we go. All right. So we'll take this. And get this over here. Hey, this is pretty good, huh? And now we're going to do our omelet, get our omelet ready. Yeah. Okay. So some nice feta cheese on there. Ooh, ooh. I love feta cheese. And then we're going to take our roasted red peppers. I like the fresh uh, spinach. I think spinach, that's a great idea. Spinach, olives. Love the black olives. Wonderful. This is called a roasted Greek omelet. Got it. And I'm going to just flip this. Oh, yeah. Potatoes. I love potatoes. All right, let's see how she does. Yeah, see? I can't. That's the one I can't do. I can't manage that one. Well, we make our omelets. We do not put the ingredients in the eggs. Right. What we do is we put them, we flip the omelet. The right. French way is to put them in the undone egg. Right. We don't do that. We do it. It's our version. Right. And people really like our version. Yeah, I think it works really well. Okay. I love that you're able to do that without messing it up. I usually screw that and up. And we always down. put some fresh fruit on our plate. All right. So every customer gets fresh fruit. I like that idea. Oh, strawberries. So they're going to get, and then I have toast coming also. Beautiful omelet. Oh, this is fabulous. This is wonderful. Okay. Potatoes. And the potatoes. I love the potatoes. That's a diet meal, isn't it? It is a diet meal. There's no question about it. <laughs> Drew, cheer up, Drew. May I have the, no, he's the toast, toast Drew, please? Yeah. Not quite ready. Not quite yeah, ready. See, she can, she can fake it. The, Drew's over there thinking this is serious. Look, I'm lucky I didn't injure myself. Oh, there it is. There it is. And this is, this is rye toast. This Schnitzer's is, uh, marble from, rye. This is organic rye toast. Oh, wonderful. And this is from Saratoga Rock Hill Bakehouse. Ooh. Let me there hold that. There you go. Let's have a little shot of this. It reminds me of the Seinfeld episode with Schnitzer's marble rye. Fabulous. Isn't that beautiful? That is really So beautiful. we'll put that right up here because I'm okay. sure you're going to want to eat oh, yeah, it. Yeah, now yeah. we have to finish off. This is banana pecan French toast. Ooh, ooh. So we're going to take a little bit of butter. I like butter. because You like butter? Butter oh, is yeah, yummy, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's, do you think that's a little bit of butter? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think anybody. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little bit. But no, with the stuff you're putting in there, you have to and have it. And brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugar. This is all, of course, very healthy. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is that that you every once in a while you have to treat yourself. It's yeah. terribly that's important a, to do it's that. It's very important to yeah. treat yourself. And don't forget, we have pecans also. We have pecans. Ah. So you can flip that French toast if it. you'd like. Oh, that looks fabulous. We'll see if you can, if we'll hire. Yeah, I don't know, Drew. I don't think he's. <laughs> they they definitely chase. can't hire I him. Say, I, I had a chase it he's around the grill. He's chasing it around I, the grill. That, for me, can't though, that's. I need to be our official taster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, official taster, that's going to be my job. Actually, I think that's the one I'm really most qualified for. There you go. Yeah. I don't have great eye-hand coordination there. It's clear. So we cook this, and then we got 
a banana. Oh, we gotta have banana. You wanna cut the banana up, oh, stick yeah, that yeah. in there? Yeah, let me have this. I think I can do that. You can cut it up right like this inside here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Like that. Right in the pan. All right, baby. Oh yeah. Look at look. He's not killing himself, which is good. He can't have it quite that thick. We're gonna use the whole You're banana. You're doing a good job. You're you see, know, you have so many skills. You know, you so know many I, skills. You know what I really like is you almost said that was a straight face. Almost. <laughs> that, that, that was good. That was good. All right, we're going to use the whole banana, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, if you come to Casco Mountain Country Store and Restaurant, you're going to get a whole banana. You're going to get not, the whole banana. Yeah, we're that's not, right. We're not going to leave that out. Let me finish this up. All yeah, right. We almost have it. There we are. And the cat's complaining again. You must have seen my uh, skills. Over the grill. So we just saute this. That looks yummy, doesn't oh, it? Oh, it really, really looks good. yummy. But see, now you can see why you needed the amount of butter that you use. Well, because in order to cook that, you got to have yeah. some moisture. Well, you know, because I'm going to make sure all the cameramen and everybody gets some of this. Oh, my We're going to put uh, They're gonna like all that. of that on yeah. there. Oh, this is wonderful. So, and when we serve it to the public, again, we do the, you know, fresh fruit. Oh, see? I like the idea of the fresh fruit. I think that's terrific. <clears throat> oh, look at this. All right. And some fresh blueberries. You have to have blueberries. I think the cat. But yeah, no, no. Oh, look, look. Oh, yeah. See, and then a little powdered sugar. Got to have that. And we'll let you do the honors for the whipped oh, cream. Oh, see? See? There you go. Oh, wow. That's a little silly, but there you go. <laughs> hey, he's got, he's got that fabulous. All right, we're going to take a break. Then we're going to sit down. We're going to eat. Some of us have a great time. Thank yes, you, Natasha. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Drew, uh, Natasha really whipped together some great breakfast stuff. Now, I understand we're going to have beef beef sandwich later. That's correct. So we're only going to do a little tasting. Uh, well, if you're really hungry, you can do a little bit more than taste, but... Well, um, all right. <laughs> I'll sneak up on it a little bit. Okay. But what's really wonderful is that she's so comfortable working around there. I was like futzing and butzing and stuff, but she was really good. She held that pretty good. Well, I mean, she's doing it for a long time, obviously. She went to the Culinary Institute for baking and then um, has been doing cooking here for the last 15 years. So yeah. when you're behind the line, that, you know. You're, you're comfortable. You're comfortable, now, absolutely. What, I have the. You have the roasted Greek omelet, which Wonderful. is uh, fresh local eggs, fresh spinach, fresh roasted peppers that we do ourselves, and black olives, and feta cheese. See, I, I wouldn't want it without the black olives, because that makes it Greek to me. Uh, absolutely. The feta has to be in there. That's a rule. Well, feta is my favorite, I yeah, think. But, but the black olives, is, yeah, let's try it. Without a doubt. What do you think? Oh. Mm. It's, it's what it is. It's the feta, the, the olives, the roasted peppers, and then the uh, spinach. They just meld together so well. But the difference with, with our omelets and most other omelets that you've had is fresh eggs. I mean, literally, those no, you eggs can tell. came from my chickens this morning. Right, and, and you can really tell the difference. Uh, it's it's wonderful. amazing. Absolutely. Uh, I'm trying not to enjoy this too much, but this is fabulous. All right. Well, make sure you take a bite of that uh, raw fry, which is a mm. Pennsylvania Dutch specialty. Oh, mm. I tell you, I'm not going to tell my wife about this one because this olive, uh, the Greek omelet is just something to be right up her. This, look at this. Oh, just bring her up any time. We'll make it, we'll whip it right up for her. It takes five minutes. We're definitely going to, oh, that is, that's just marvelous. Let me try a potato. Mmm. Nice and crispy, soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. Here's what I don't understand. How is it that it's crispy and warm, but it's light? Yeah. It's not heavy at all. Well, you saw it only takes a couple of minutes to make. Mm -hmm. uh, grate up your potatoes real quickly. Add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt and pepper. Not very much butter, although sometimes we go a little heavy on that, but um, depending on who you are. And, you know, you cook them up on the griddle real quick, and it just, no, oh, fabulous flavor. Natasha outdid herself with it. She now, did. She did. You notice I've already eaten this, 
right. and what I did was before we went on the air, I was eating it. Right. And then I put it under here, mm. so, so the camera see wouldn't it. pick it up. The camera was well, that's a, um, a, a marble rye bread, which is a whole grain organic bread that comes from uh, Rock Hill Base House up in uh, Saratoga Springs. Mm -hmm. um, they're a purveyor we've been using for the last 15 years, and their breads are, you know, old-fashioned uh, artist uh, artisan breads, and mm -hmm. you know, you can taste it, you can see it. It is so good. Oh. Every time you bite into this, it's so unique. It's all the fresh ingredients, I think. Uh, fresh ingredients. You know, breakfast is simple as far as I'm concerned. Fresh ingredients, done quickly, bring it out hot. Uh, we use as much local, uh, locally sourced mm -hmm. products as we can. This time of the year, our chickens are laying a lot of eggs. A little later in, later in the year, we'll, get, we'll have all uh, local vegetables from uh, organic farmers in the area. Mm -hmm. uh, Rock Hill Breads, which is you know, just in Saratoga. <laughs> so absolutely. Oh. I was only going to taste because we're going to have a sandwich later. Well, I, I want you to try the banana pecan French toast, too, because you're going to go from savory to a little sweet over here. Oh, all right. So let don't me, eat too much of that. Right, Besides, you have to save a little bit for the cameraman. They look like they're pretty hungry over no, there. No, no, they, Shane, he said he's not leaving without eating. Yeah, I can understand that. All right, this is my <laughs> last bit, but I can't. Oh, my God. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to believe this is my job. This is my job. Okay. Let me well, this try is it. the reaction we get all the time. Oh my God! So oh. banana pecan French toast. We use uh, three uh, large sliced uh, farm bread uh, done in our own. I noticed that it's uh, like a rustic. It's a rustic type of bread. bread. It's about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. Mm -hmm. Then we whip up a, uh, a mm -hmm. fresh French toast batter for it, which is half and half, uh, a few eggs. Uh, some mm -hmm. vanilla and cinnamon. Whip that all up, dip, dip the French toast into that, and then that just goes right onto the griddle. Uh, oh, then the gosh. topping is uh, banana pecans, uh, which is uh, done up with a butter and brown sugar <coughs> sauce. Saute that real quickly and you top that off. Put some whipped cream on it, some powdered sugar, and you're in heaven. I know, your wife's gonna love this too, so. What's your wife's name? Ann. All right, Anne. so Ann, you can come up anytime and we will definitely take care of you. Mark that down. <laughs> Mark that down. Well, when Natasha was fixing this, she was saying that normally you use a little less butter. But I told her it appeared to me with the pecans and everything else and the brown sugar, you have to have a little bit more well, butter. Well, what happens is the pecans and the bananas will certainly soak up the butter. And so you want to have a little bit more juice is what I call it. So yes. it just tops that so beautifully. So, you know, if you're mm. very diet conscious, I, I wouldn't say that the banana pecan French toast is the way to go. But there's certainly a lot of other things on our menu that would... Well, you know, you know the nice thing is, though... When you come up here, Casco Mountain Country Store and Restaurant. There you go. You're going to have a special day, special trip, wonderful environment up here in Wyndham. But the thing is, every once in a while, you can let yourself go and enjoy Absolutely. it. Absolutely. This is, ah. Oh. Well, oh. it is my favorite dish on the menu for breakfast is mm -hmm. the banana pecan French toast. Well, I like this. You can operate the rest of the day on this. Oh, without a doubt. Oh. Now, I'm going to be just a little greedy, you don't mind me. Oh, I don't just mind. A little bit more, because I, I do want to see this beef and beef sandwich. Uh, you have to save a little room for that, because that's very special. But one of the things we pride ourselves on, and it's part of our tagline here, is that nobody leaves here hungry. Oh, my God. Oh, absolutely delightful. So you have to save room for the beef beef, and of course for the donuts, apple cider donuts with cinnamon sugar on them. So. You know, we we're, were talking. My, my son Gus will tell me after he's had a big meal that he has to uh, turn on his second stomach for dessert. So. Oh yeah, you got to pump. Yeah. You got to pump it up. But <laughs> the, I, I'm sorry, I got to have just a little bit more. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. Natasha said it was special, but it's even better than that. And then don't forget, we have fresh fruit. Fresh fruit and fresh local maple syrup. I didn't even get into that because I, I couldn't wait. I, I, mm, oh. oh my boy. I think we saved enough for the boys. You, you think, think so? so? 
Uh, I, I, I could finish. We'll make it work. If not, we'll just whip them up a little bit more. Well, I have to say, it's embarrassing, but as much as I love this, you're, you're right. This is number one on the menu. I could have finished this one gleefully after <laughs> sure. It goes back to my, we'll be right back after a few messages. We're going to move on to the sandwich, which you're going to love. Beef and beef. Beef, beef. Beef, beef sandwich. We're at it again here at Crossroads Ford. I see you went with the Ford Escape. Yes, I took it for a test ride and I love it. It has the navigation and the sync features which I was looking for. The sync features. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to someone in the service department. What kind of cars do you work on? Fords, Subarus, Chevys. So basically anything with four wheels, right? Absolutely. I got a go-kart needs tune-up. Bring it in, we can do it. I'm Ron Teeter, owner of Crossroads Ford. You gotta give us a try. We hope you're enjoying Meet the Chef. Remember, it's local, it's real people in our community, and it's exclusively on Mid-Hudson Cable Vision's Channel 11. To be a local sponsor of this program or to have your restaurant featured on Meet the Chef, please contact us at 828-2500, extension 8207 for details. Welcome back, Jim Riley, uh, Meet the Chef, Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant. We're now going to have beef, beef, because I had breakfast already. You already had breakfast, yeah. This is Natasha Schuster, if you haven't met her before, and I'm sure you have. We're going to have a very special sandwich now, it's called beef, beef. Tell me about the beef, beef. Well, the beef, beef has, guess what in it? Beef. There you go. See? I'm and it's very, it's very simple. We start with an organic Payne Paisano bread. This comes from Rock Hill Bakehouse in Saratoga. Right. And we're going to, here, step back a second. All right. We're going to put this on the griddle. And we're Ooh. making two Ooh. sandwiches because I know you guys are hungry. Even after all that, well, you ate all the food, I, didn't I you? I did, yeah. I ate most of it. So we make this garlic butter with fresh garlic. Oh, we make that, that ahead I like of time. a lot. Yeah. And I like that a lot. So we're oh, going to set wonderful. that on there. And we're going to get our beef out of here. Look at the beef. When so she this says is beef, a, beef. This is a rare roast beef. Yeah. And we're oh, going to put that beef, on there. Beef. I'm going to let that cook a second. Then I'm going to flip it. I'm going to put some Swiss cheese on it. Oh, see, I like the Swiss with the beef. It, I think that's a nice It adds touch. a nice flavor, yeah. I like that idea. So, <clears throat> and we serve all our sandwiches with chips and homemade salsa. Now this also really is a nice spicy one. This is a nice spicy one here. All right, let me try that. Take a little bit of that. Uh-huh. Oh. Good stuff, right? So that is this is this is Oh my god, that's good. This is our spicy salsa. We have two different sauces that we sell here, our Catskill Mountain Country Store salsa mm -hmm. and what we call Judy's um, hot salsa. And this is Judy's hot salsa. And it it is. Hot. My voice Oh, my voice is going up a little bit. It's definitely hot. It's a little spicy. It's a little too spicy for no, you. No, no, it's perfect. Now, but it's serious. We're also going to put some Ooh. caramelized onions on here. I love caramelized onions. And we just caramelize them ahead of time and they get... Uh, yeah, just so they can just move yeah. around a little bit. Yeah. I love the caramelized onions. So we stick onions. the Swiss cheese on here. I love the idea of the Swiss. That really appeals to me. And so this is cooking up nice, the garlic bread. I like the garlic bread really seems to give it a tang. That's a great touch. And I know your cameraman loves this. These are half sour pickles. They he go had with seven it. already, which is good. He did. Yeah. He's not very shy when it comes to pickles. So another key ingredient to this is creamy horseradish. Oh, wonderful. I like that idea. 
We make sure we put that on nice and easy. Creamy horseradish. Oh, Very this is going to be exciting. So we flip our... Thank God I have an appetite, Natasha. Well, that's good. Because I'm not passing any of this <laughs> up. Yeah. Oh, this So we is... just wait for this cheese to melt a little bit, which it will. I was talking to Shane, our cameraman, and he was saying if you're going to have the beef beef, you have to have a hype plan for the afternoon <laughs> to work it off. That's, to work it off. Yeah. That's a serious sandwich. So that's oh, starting look to melt. Look at that. Look at that. Beef, beef. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Gonna get some onions bit. on there. She said some onions. Some look. onions. Yeah, it's like. Then we put a little bit of fresh greens. Okay. And the top. What I like with the fresh greens, it makes you think like you're not overeating the beef beef. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it makes me feel good about myself. Oh, and there you go. Thing. I'll get the other one right, off. Get that. And you can. This is a three second rule. I'm eating the chip. And you can sample that one right. as I get this other one off. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm. All right, boys, get a close-up of this one. Oh, this is going to be tough. Hold on. Oh, my God. Here you go. It looks like you need a napkin. No, oh, I'm <laughs> oh. This is unbelievable. That's a great sandwich, isn't it? Oh. Well, oh. we got a lot of good things on our menus. We have a half-pound Angus beef hamburger. Mm-hmm which that's, people love that. And of course we got a, a trout sandwich. The trout is smoked in wood stock. That's a great sandwich. Mm. And uh, that oh has, gosh. oh, you're, you're loving that. Oh, it, here's, what I like about the sandwich is every element that you put in, the Swiss cheese, the beef, <clears throat> the garlic bread, mm -hmm. that is it, phenomenal. But the onions set everything off. Well, there oh you go. Oh, God. Oh, this is fast. So you can come and you can have our breakfast. We have 12 different omelets, 10 different uh, pancakes, waffles, French toast. And then you can come right back and you can have a, a great hamburger. You can have a beef beef. You can have a wayno that is delicious raisin toast with ham and Swiss cheese and no ham and American cheese and tomato so we have so many different choices we have a lot of vegetarian choices and salads Incredible. for people uh, we also have specialty drinks espresso milkshake blue lagoon mm. so there's a little something for everybody mm -hmm. you gonna be okay <laughs> <laughs> This is bad. I'm sorry. This is a little bit of heaven. I haven't even got into the salsa yet. My God. Good. What a fabulous sandwich. Fabulous. So we also do a lot of pies and breads. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, we are known for, we were voted uh, best pies in the Hudson Valley. Mm -hmm. And so we do a lot of pies, we do a lot of breads, and we do donuts and fudge and all kinds of other things. Oh, my God. I'm done. No. This is phenomenal. Don't hurt yourself. No. no. Our producer, Steve Mortifolio, told me you're getting a half of a half of a sandwich because the rest of us are going to take care of the balance. So uh, we're going to be back <clears throat> in just a little bit. We're going to wrap things up with special cider donuts, and it will, we'll just let you know why and how. You get to the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant in Wyndham, you got to come up here. It's fabulous. Okay. Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant in Wyndham. That's correct. Drew Schuster. Very good. You got Drew, the name right again. I, I got it. That You're was not good. butchering it. But you know, you promised us something special. Tell us what we're going to do now. Well, these are uh, apple cider donuts. And I was, I was telling you before, my son Gus, who's now 15 years old, this was his 
brainchild. He came up with it eight years ago, and he came up with a special recipe for donuts. Um, and you're in for a, a treat of a lifetime, as far as I'm concerned, because there is nothing like a warm donut with fresh cinnamon sugar on it. We're going to test it out. We're going to so. test it out right now. All right, show us what we're doing. All here. right, so to make the batter, we start off with our flour concoction and the special ingredients in there. Right, and Gus developed that. Right, cinnamon. Some clove. A oh, clove is clove. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Clove then, is good. Uh, fresh apple cider. Oh, there you go. See that? Okay. When I said that originally. Oh. I thought it might have been just something that they oh, no, caught. No, no. I didn't realize well, it. Well, everybody knows these from uh, you know harvest time and whatnot. So right. it goes into the blender there. Now you said you sell them year round, even though we sell them year round. Harvest time is when right. they usually record. Well, our, you know, we'll sell five times as much in October and November, obviously, but. Uh, we do sell them year round and it's uh, it's a treat for people. So then they're gonna uh, they have to blend like this for about three minutes and then they're gonna sit for ten minutes. Right. Okay, so while we're waiting for this to blend, um, maybe we can do something else. Well, you know what it is. I was about to talk about beef beef. I, I was going to say, <laughs> no, what, what we're going to do is watch me eat again. That's right. I, and I'm having a great day. This is a special day for me. Okay. This is, this is working really well. Good. I love this. Oh, you can smell the aroma. I love right. that. I always like the cinnamon. Even the cloves. You can smell, you can smell right. all those ingredients in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. It's, uh, fresh donuts are amazing. Okay, so we've got the batter all set. Right. We're going to put it right in the hopper over here. I'd let you do this, but uh, you're not tall well, enough. You, well, well that, not only tall, but you saw my skills in the kitchen. Oh, now, no, 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 no. I was actually impressed with your skills. Oh, thanks. Now, here's a question I had for you. It's nice to have a, a donut machine and all this stuff. Yeah. But what about the portion? What about the size of the donut? How do you control that? Uh, there is a knob right on top of this machine that measures the weight of the donut. So my son and I, when we first got the machine, played with it to get the right side donut uh, and to get the and timing down for you it. You could set it up for the way it had to be, and then this is now all automatic. Right. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll turn it on the conveyor. Right. And then you do what you call priming the pump, which is just pushing this a little bit until the batter actually comes down into it. There it is. And you flip it like that. Oh, and we're basically oh, that's on our great. own at this point. <clears throat> oh, this is terrific. It's just everything is automatic. Everything is automatic. We know when you think about it, if you realize how difficult this would be if you had to do this by hand, you I can do it. By I have hand. a friend of mine who was in the Navy 50 years ago, and they used to do it by hand, and they had a little... They had a, uh, uh, um, a barrel of oil, basically, that would be heating on the, uh, on the flame, and they'd have this little plunger, basically, this, this type of thing that you did by hand. And you had to drop it into the oil, right. wait a minute or two minutes or whatever it is, and then flip the donut over, wait another couple minutes out, and then take it out with the, um, you know, something to drain the oil. But this one works great. It's on a conveyor. just comes out. It's going to dump right into our... Uh, our donut holder over there, um, and then we'll come over to our cinnamon sugar and dip them in the cinnamon sugar. It's, it's terrific the way that works. It just it drops one, moves around, drops the other in That's the spot. Right. And this was the. Um, there's a little uh, knob over here that uh, can regulate the size of the donut, and they do that by weight. Yes. Uh, so once you've, you've you've played with your size or whatever you want to so do, so you've determined it. what it is that works for you. Now, right. Now let's go back. It's like this is all out of the imagination of your son Gus. That's correct. I, I at just four think years that's old. At four years old, he said, "We need to sell donuts, Daddy. This town needs donuts. Right. My friend needs donuts. We need to sell donuts." What a And he said that for idea. three years. So here's a four-year-old. Yeah. Until he was seven years old, and that's when we told him, "Okay." All right. Now we're going to we're we're make, make the, the commitment. Now let's go to the next step because it's your daughter that came up with the other idea. Yeah, she does fudge. Right. Right. And she came to us when she was about 11 and said, Daddy, I'd love to make fudge. And I said to her, well, you have to come up with a business plan. You've got to come up with recipes. So about two months later, she had a business plan. She had recipes. And then we started making fudge. And Sydney's Fabulous Fudge was born. I, what I like about it is it really shows 
that at a very early age, you can have a passion, you can have a focus, because to go out and build a business plan, I mean, you have to have some energy, you have to care about it to do it. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely. And, you know, one of the reasons Natasha and I got into this type of business when we did was because we knew we were going to have a family, and we knew we wanted our family involved in whatever we were doing. So the kids are, uh, you know, involved in this. Uh, they're working the register when they're not in school. Uh, or they're cleaning, you know, mucking out the horse right. pen or whatever, and you know, right. so everybody's involved in it. I, now, I, Gus would normally be here making the donuts now, but school got in the way I, for some I reason. I hate it when school no, no. gets in the way like me that. Me too. Now, let, let me tell you, because we have one more element. We have another child yep, that's with Victoria. imagination, mm -hmm. and Victoria came up with what idea? Victoria has been wanting to make ice cream, homemade ice cream for years. So we are actually in the process of buying the Tannersville General Store. Right. And we should be closing on that shortly and opening sometime in May. And they have an old-fashioned ice cream uh, station there. And Tori's going to start to make ice cream, and we're going to be selling it there. Isn't that wonderful? Now you're going to keep this name, though. Uh, the name Mountain. is going to be the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant in Tannersville. Yep. Very nice. Yep. But isn't that interesting that all these elements... The other part that I like about it is nobody had to encourage anybody to do anything. They kind of just, from being around you, being around the business, picked up that interest and said, we want to take part. That's fabulous. Well, we have pictures of uh, Natasha when uh, Sydney was first born. It's kind of an interesting story. Sydney was born prematurely six weeks. And Natasha was up at the, uh, the hospital basically every day because Sydney was in the, you know, intensive right. care for the first week or two weeks. And so I had to do the baking, and I didn't know anything about baking. <laughs> so I was picking up the phone and calling Natasha, okay, my pies didn't set, what did I do wrong? The breads fell, what did I do wrong? So from that time to now, I've been doing all the baking. Right. You became the <laughs> I became the baker. The, the baking. Yeah, I think it was my wife's secret plan to have me uh, oh, yeah. do all those things. <laughs> Isn't that funny how things work out? But... So now here we had the little girl, so she's, you know, premature, she weighs five pounds. And within the first couple of weeks, she's on those baby boards. Yes, Natasha's yes. in here working around, you know, with the baby. And that's, yeah. that's always the way it's been. Our children have always been part of the, I, part of the show. And what's nice about it is that the whole, like you said, you never know what they're going to do as adults. But the fact is, if they choose to participate, and it sounds surely that they will, they've got something they can be creative with. They can have their future and, and kind of design the future for themselves. What a wonderful opportunity for them. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, it, it really is, great. is. Oh, I love the flying donuts. This one's trying to go backwards. <laughs> this, I, I just think this is amazing how absolutely smooth the operation is. Uh, it's, it's, it's seamless. There's no question about it. Seamless when it's all going right, and uh, when it's not, oh, it's another that, story. I was going to say, that becomes very, very interesting. So you sell them year-round, and then you're very busy through the fall season, harvest season. Obviously. Really you know, most people think of apple cider donuts as, you know, during apple season, September, right. October, November. So that's when they're all looking for it. But we're like, you know, we made this huge investment. I mean, this, this machine costs $6,000. Why don't we make them all year round? Yeah. And so we sell a lot of them all year oh, round. Isn't yeah. it interesting how you have a vision, create it, and then it actually works? That's right. terribly exciting. Let me show you what the next step is going to be Good. over here. We'll take some of these donuts up over here. If you put on a pair of gloves, I'll let you uh, oh, oh, let me handle this part of it. I love I love gloves. I was hoping you'd let me do that. Oh, absolutely. Because I would work here if I could wear a glove. Look at these gloves. Okay, well, you know, I'm always looking for good people. So, and with the new store opening up, I, I, I need that many more good people. So we don't may necessarily pay a lot, but boy, the perks are really good with the food. I was going to say, you can't, we, we sample that today. We know that's true. So what you want to do with this is all we're going to do is we've got a cinnamon, cinnamon sugar mixture made up. And we're just going to take the donuts. We're going to go in like this, flip them over. And then put them back on top. Okay. So you give just, your hand at that. Yeah, you just rub them a little bit. Yeah. Over, rub them a little bit. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. This is wonderful. This is right up your alley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you go right from this spot to eating it. Right. Them, which wow, is there the, you go. That's the best part. Well, you know, uh, we like to make donuts as much as possible. Uh, as often as possible. So if you're lucky enough to come in when we're making it and then have just a sample of a warm... Well, yeah. You know what you should do? You should break one of those open and try it right now because That's, this right, is the time. It. See, I had to make the pattern right. complete before. I gotcha. I understand. 
They're a linear sinex sort of guy. Uh, um, Have you ever tasted anything like that? No. 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 Well, I. Oh, this is marvelous. Now I just got to scrape this down real quick. What I like is that the, the cider doesn't overwhelm it. It's a, it's a very big part of it, but it doesn't overwhelm it. Right. Right. Absolutely. It's a, it's a melding of flavors. And mm. then some people like to have the donuts uh, plain. Uh, most people like it with cinnamon sugar. We also do a, uh, a powdered sugar on top. Uh -huh. And we do a chocolate donut where we make our own chocolate. Oh. That's pretty outstanding, too. There's no way to have a cameraman not have a donut. Ah, uh, no, no. Look, let me tell you how much we've enjoyed our visit it's today. It's been our pleasure. You guys have been a lot of fun. Uh, Drew Schuster, his wife Natasha, Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant Route 23 in Wyndham, but also soon to be... Soon to be in Tannersville on Main oh. Street. Um, it will, it's currently the Tannersville General Store, and the new name will be the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant, right in the center of Tannersville. We've eaten everything that they have. It's out of this world. You have to come up here to Wyndham. You have to come to the Catskill Mountain Country Store and Restaurant. See Drew and Natasha. Make sure you tell them we said hello. Yeah, we look forward to seeing everybody out there. You guys have been great. It's been a wonderful experience for us. Thank you. Thanks, Drew. Okay.